hello, hello. <laughs> I, I'm 0 for 2 on these new intros, but I feel like I have to figure out something different to intro homecoming. Like, yeah. Well, check one, two, one, two. Nah, I'm <laughs> All right, we can use their call. It's, it's beat you. Beat you. <laughs> That is their call. Did you not know that that's their call? Brings to university. I did it. Oh. I don't know if you should start off with that. Go ahead, try. That's literally B. No, no, get in. Go ahead, try. Go ahead. Okay. I can't do it on command now. B, you. <laughs> I can't do it on command now. Oh goodness. Anyway, clearly we better talk about all American homecoming. So welcome to Film Study, an all-American homecoming podcast. <laughs> I'm not going to say that every single time. That is way too long. Um, but we're excited because the all-American universe is expanding, or has expanded, rather. Uh, and we have several trailers that were dropped uh, for homecoming. <laughs> I think I'm laughing because it's like slight frustration that we still don't know what's happening. <laughs> like I love the homecoming content, and I'm like, can, can we? Can we get? Can we more? get a sliver, sir? Can, can we can get a sliver? Get sliver? Can we get a, a sliver of all American, please? I'm done. Not a sliver. Go. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm I'm really happy about the trailer and I'm trailers plural. There were like three. Yes, um, and can't clap I'm for excited. all the trailers because <laughs> they have given us more than I was expecting to give us. Yeah, yeah, no. The honestly, the 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 marketing thus far uh, has been pretty pretty on point. And I should say, uh, I recently went to the um i visited the warner brothers lot and saw some of the sets let me know if you want me to do a podcast on that tour um but i think that they said that they might have built a set that was a tennis court which that's really cool because <laughs> tennis courts are not small so that set is not small um but that's really cool that they might have built an actual tennis set for the for the homecoming agreed set sets plural um yeah so that's that let's get into talking about these trailers should we cover the first one that dropped first i just want to say shimon hicks Hicks. that's my favorite part of the trailer but shimon hicks (laughs) because i loved it when uh david said it uh in the in the pilot when he was like and they <laughs> I just love it. Thing. I just, I, I just hope we don't hear it through the whole, the, like multiple times through episode. It's through cute. episode one. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's gonna cute, be. But I don't, just don't wear it out. I don't think they're gonna wear it out. I, okay. <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers that they don't wear it out. <laughs> um, no, I feel like it's if 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 anything, we might hear it like every couple episodes or every other episode. You know what I mean? Okay, I got you. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that, but I, I got you. I know. I think they, it will, it will make sense for them not to wear it out. Like I don't see a purpose that they will have to wear it out. I just hope they don't. Yeah, yeah. Is he gonna call Same. her? Like, is he gonna use her first and last name every time he talks to her? Or I, I, I doubt it. Name? I feel like they might. I feel like they might graduate to um, last names or. Yeah, nicknames for each other. Because I think that they're going to be friends. Which, talking about the trailer, um, yeah, just several different things. Obviously, we see Simone sort of dealing with going off to college and trying to juggle college and tennis. Uh, We saw very little of Thea, which was surprising. And I really hope that we see more of her in the show. But judging from what we've gotten thus far both in the pilot and in the trailer Mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if he is gonna be as big uh of a character as i originally thought that she was gonna be do you know what i mean yeah yeah i hope she is i mean being that she's i know i think that she's really interesting 
Yeah, I think Venus, she's a tennis player. Maybe they're going to add her in more. Um, right, yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe it's just they're trying to, like, hide her and, like, do the big reveal when the show actually starts. <laughs> Not hide I her. don't know. <laughs> I was just saying, because, like, she was in half a second of the trailer versus... Um, I feel like we saw more of Damon's girlfriend than we saw of her. <laughs> or, like, Damon's mom. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mm-hmm. know. And, like, characters that we, I feel like, shouldn't... I'm, and I'm not going to say shouldn't have that screen time, because we haven't seen the show yet, but I just thought that her character would be more important. <laughs> I'll leave it there. And I, I still do believe that her character is important, but I just want to see more of her. Well, hopefully when it air, hopefully when it airs, we see um, more of her. Right, right. Um, and so that was the. Uh, should we go to Cam and Keisha, which we have also talked about in the mailbag? <laughs> Cam and Keisha were seen several times making out, and one of the times was they were making out at. It looked to be some sort of orientation thing. Um, like when all of the freshmen arrive. Mm-mm. Do you think how she got Cam the same way she got? What she she got Spencer. Spencer? <laughs> Even I though don't her know, maybe. Different, but you know she's not shy about going to get a man. So that's true. Keisha don't Keisha don't waste no time hooking herself to a man. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like her and her boyfriend are probably on the outs again, and I think that they just. I think it's one of those times, like, I I don't know why I'm making this uh, parallel to Grey's Anatomy, but, like, when you see somebody, like, getting it on in the closet or something right after they meet, like, that's what this feels like for Keisha and Cam to me. I, I know her, her boyfriend might not be on the outs again. At this time, just stay out because of... <laughs> if she's making out with Cam, I would assume, I mean, unless they're exploring, exploring like, polyamorous relationships or something. Which they could. Yeah, they could. I just need her. Because that's how we seen her. She was dancing with Spencer. Then she was kissing her ex. and Right. Okay. Right. Go so she's her. very free. She seems like yeah, she's going to be a, a very college. free She said she's living spirit. her best life. Right. She's living her best life. <laughs> I'm excited to see her in her little, uh, they had a poll. So I guess she's like taking some stripper classes or something. So she's going to be, I actually think that the trailers have shown her be freer than we met her in the pilot you think yeah because i think in the pilot she we w- we were sort of introduced to her as and <laughs> let me put this out there before i say anything is that i don't think being like studious and being a free spirit is at odds in any way but i think that we met her in that journalism class and then we met her is very like oh here's your orientation buddy like that sort of thing like very Mm -hmm. within the the structure maybe of like the administration helping out like introducing new students taking them to the uh taking them through campus uh putting on that fashion show right and then i feel like in the trailer we're seeing her be a little bit more a little bit more loose, like a little bit more of what we saw her at the end of the pilot when she was like using Spencer to get back at her ex, right? But uh, we, we're seeing a little bit more of her at the end rather than the beginning of the pilot. Um, I think her and Cam is definitely going to be very entertaining. I think they're going to be very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I think so too. But I also think she's just going to be an entertaining character because she did things like you know, she hung up on Jordan when Simone was talking to him. So she's she's going to be very involved in getting Simone into the life at Brinkston. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. Um, that's uh, Cam and Keisha. Again, Cam's probably going to be Cam. We don't really know much about Cam's character other than what we saw with him in and Keisha. All American. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and all American, and then like in the trailers, just for the series, just every single time, make it out with Keisha. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, maybe that's it. All of his scenes are gonna be making out with someone. Not a bad, not a bad way to make payday, to be honest. <laughs> um, so that's that, and then who else was in the trailer? I mean, 
I um, actually feel like. Yeah. Do you think? Based, okay, so based off the pilot and based off you know just so what we know so far, um, his what, what's his name again? You know, I mess his name up. What's his name? Damien. Da- 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 what's his name? Damon. <laughs> Damon. So I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna get it right eventually on one of the podcasts. Damien. Um his <laughs> best friend. Did I still say it wrong? I still said it wrong. You said it right and then wrong. Damon. <laughs> okay. Damon. Okay. His best friend. I'm I'm not sure if he's gonna really be t- I, I I got his JR. He, yeah, I'm starting to question, you know, based off I don't know. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna be a little shady. I just, I can really, remember. yeah. Why? It's be a shady. No. Based off, I don't know. That's the vibes I got off him when it no. came to the pilot. I think he's gonna be a little shady. Don't say that. I'm pretty sure. Am I? I'm. I'm the only one that thought this, y'all. Let us know in the comments. That's just my vibes I got from him. That yeah, let us know in the comments because I maybe it's just because I like the actor and the actor is so sweet that I'm like no he, he was cool he was a cool guy he wasn't causing no trouble. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna be shady, but okay. <laughs> that's really that's really funny that you think that. I think similar to Thea, we haven't gotten a lot of uh, Jr. in the like in the actual trailers. Right, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm. I don't know. It's just the, tr- the now that I'm thinking about it, the trailers are awesome, but it's people that I think will be series regulars in the show. I just feel like we haven't seen a ton of them in the trailer. Um, but you know who we have seen a ton of? Who? Back to those great transitions, Damon. <laughs> Damon. I almost feel like we saw more of Damon a little bit than Simone. Because we know that, you know, the uh, the baseball team is looking to him, that apparently the school is in trouble because they tell um, Coach Sideburns. <laughs> I'm done. You did not call that man Coach Sideburns. That's not what you just said. What is his name, Coach Turner? <laughs> I don't know, but I know it ain't Coach Sideburns. <laughs> they tell Corey Hardrick. Uh, that the school is in financial trouble and it seems like baseball, maybe getting people to attend the baseball games is going to be a a critical plot line for them. Um, Obviously with Damon having left the MLB and so then he's struggling with that. Like I just gave up this potentially big payday to come to a program that could not even be here because of budget cuts and and different things like Mm -hmm. that. Um, so I feel like we got a very, and then also his struggles with his mom continuing and yeah, just trying to be a leader on the team. Plus, you know, those little moments that they show with Simone. So I feel like we, oh, plus his girlfriend (laughs) or who we assume to be his girlfriend, who he was, uh, in, in bed with. So I feel like we have a very strong sense of all of the plot lines that are going to revolve around Damon. Yes. And I mean, can I just say that? It, it does look like him and Simone is going to have a great friendship. It looked like they're going to, um, you know, motivate and encourage each other a lot. Handle your business. I love it. I'm done. <laughs> I, like, love it. I love it. I love it. That's what it says. I know. Um, yeah, no, I do think they're going to have, I think their friendship, though, is obviously going to be laying the groundwork from or laying the groundwork for their uh, eventual relationship, for sure. Yes. I mean, I I think I saw chemistry in the trailer, just like the, again, the looks that handle your business, like, yeah, the, that little uh, fist bump that they did. I don't know. There's, there's a, there's a good little chemistry between the two, the two leads. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think they're going to start off with friendship first, for sure. Um, they should, especially considering that Damon's involved with somebody, and as we know, Simone is t- still um, dating Jordan. But that's obviously going to come up is that they left off with him finding out that she was married, and so she's not even he's not even going to know that she's now annulled, divorced, 
I think it was the North. I don't know. Yeah, you know, eventually that's going to come come up. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to come up in the first episode. Oh, we're going to see that. Because he's going to be like, where's your face? husband? Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> I was going to make a joke, uh, but I will not. Uh, <laughs> no, I would not. I'm sorry. Um, so that was that was Damon, and then obviously the uh, the main, the top, the title character, do 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 Samoa Hicks, Shamal okay. Hicks. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna be so unbearable reviewing this show because I'm just gonna be like Shamal Hicks. <laughs> I know one thing, Shamal Hicks better call Jordan back after he check out that phone. Ooh. I'm just letting you know, Simone. Don't be letting her hang up on the phone on Jordan. We don't do that. Don't get brand new. Don't get brand new. Okay? That's all I'm saying. But yeah. it, it Clearly, again, Keisha ain't got a man and she don't keep a man. So don't let her come mess up, even though it's gonna get messed up. But don't let her come mess up their relationship. Don't do Jordan like that. You know what? That's facts. That's facts. Don't let Keisha talk you out of your relationship with Jordan. Those are facts right now. I'm I'm finna back you up on that one. I'm finna back you up. Because it's true. Don't be acting brand new. Mm? Don't get to to Georgia now and start (laughs) start (laughs) doing acting fresh. Acting fresh. No, No, she won't. She won't. Simone Simone is pretty, I think, Mm. level-headed. just, but, they don't like she gonna call back. She better call back. That's all I'm saying. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm deceased. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, I feel like we got a stronger sense of where Damon's storylines were going, and mm-hmm. that's not to say that we didn't get a sense of Simone's, but it was more of general things like I feel like Damon's was very specific you know he's gave up the MLB he's coming hopefully to save the school who now is in financial trouble like his team is looking to him to be a leader um as well as all this like romantic stuff plus the stuff with his mom and on top of the fact that we know that he's adopted so that might come into play at some point and then with Simone it's more like I'm juggling school and tennis. And there's this thing with Damon potentially. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not. What What is Simone's major storyline going to be besides obviously her being in tennis? <laughs> I think it's going to be, I think it's mainly going to be um, her you know, her whole experience at the college. You know, they're going to throw in some, you know, you know, some some conflict, some Black Lives Matter stuff. You know, you can tell. Yeah, but... They're going to throw in all of that stuff. Yeah, but I guess what I'm looking for is with with the introduction of All American, this was very, a, a very clearly a show that was about Spencer. Yes, he was an athlete, but it was also about him navigating the two worlds. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's been made clear through the trailers what's going to be Simone's major struggle. I mean, we saw her, at, and I think at the top it was just Jordan and then Shay's parents, baby Shay's parents, waving goodbye, mm-hmm. which were her parents. Um, but it doesn't look like, at least initially, that her parents are going to be a part of this sort of ongoing storyline. So what and two times we've seen baby Shay. We haven't seen baby Shay since he was born. So. <laughs> right. Right. Well we saw him after he was born with the uh, parents and her trying to Oh, get him when back. they brought her for her t- Yeah, you're right. Well we haven't seen him right. in a couple in a while. So Yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. So it's gonna be good to see him. But again, like I don't just where is her ultimate storyline going to be in addition to tennis? Like Spencer's storyline was football, but being in two worlds at one mm-hmm. time. So what is Simone? From oh, the no, trailer, it looks to... like Damon. Yeah, I just think it looks like Damon has more of the driving the story forward with the uh, thing about 
the school, right? And this thing about like him potentially being a part of saving the school, and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just interested to see how they actually make her the in plot in uh plot line wise, how they make her the main character of her own show. Yeah, and it yeah. So I just I hope that either in a new like for the actual episode trailer or in the mm-hmm. actual episode that we get more of a sense of how Simone is going to drive the story being Simone. <laughs> is that making sense? Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. But just like how the uh, these other storylines are going to be birthed. Through her. Maybe, but maybe um maybe they're but maybe they're both going to be the you know like even though we yeah, have it where we think Simone is going to be Maybe their plans is for both of them to be. I get you, but there has to be in TV writing, even if there's a even if there's a situation where there's a co-protagonist um, or a, a group of people, there's mm-hmm. still one protagonist. Um, so the best example I can give, friends, right? Rachel is a pr- protagonist of the show, even though it's about a group of friends. Um, Living mm-hmm. single, right? <laughs> the uh, the the black show that friends ripped off, right? Uh, Khadijah, <laughs> Khadijah is the protagonist of the show. Um, gotcha. So gotcha. the person who we truly see the 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 um, story through and who is the eyes of the show, even though we have these other people who are important. I gotcha. I'm following you. Yeah. So that's just, I guess, I don't. That doesn't that doesn't count as a prediction, but that's just a want for me is to um, get a stronger sense of of Simone really pushing the story forward, all of the stories forward. Gotcha. What about you? What do you want to see from this show? Um, I don't know yet because I haven't really get like really got a hold on the show yet, so. I'm just looking forward to the first episode so I can really get a feel of it. Get a feel um, for it, yeah. Yeah. That's, I don't really have no expectation good. of it right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one thing that I will say, <laughs> and maybe this is just the, um, I don't know, the, the like the person who studies these types of things that in me or the psychologist or whatever you want to say. <laughs> um I I love the theme of black excellence. I'm here for it, right? But I mm. also want this show to grow beyond the tagline of bad black excellence because what I think is so amazing about All American is you know, it's black people just living and so I don't I, I don't want homecoming to fall into the trap. And I'm not saying they are, but it's just, I, it's a tagline that they constantly set in the trailers. Trailers, So I just don't want them to fall into the trap that like this, we have to be black excellence. Like I <laughs> also, black people can be normal too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you. I just I I don't see it not falling into it. Um because <laughs> you said, well, you're not gonna get your want <laughs> or wish. <laughs> no, but it's like I think like it it's like but I, I don't think it's going to be as like where they have to be perfect type of black excellence, but it's definitely going to be, you know, black black excellence. It's, it's definitely I I don't see Yeah, that. no, and I'm saying I feel like they should keep that. I just think as the series goes on, they you should kind of like to be wait. the only thing, like the whole thing is like overpowering. You mean like that? Right. Right. Gotcha. Right. Well, and like what you said is that showing that showing black excellence in three di- like in different ways. So yeah. it's not always that you have to be the best athlete yes, or you have uh, to yes, be the cream yes. of the crop or like all of these things or you have to be ac- as accomplished as many of the wonderful people they're going to explore like we saw the tagline of t- Tony Morrison um di- different people on the side of the little banner that they have but yeah I just 
yeah i think i i love the black excellence theme and i'm here for it and i'm like just don't go don't get too crazy now <laughs> don't get too crazy now just don't just don't just not even don't get too crazy don't make it so just one way like you right. know just one way like explore it on different levels i'm with you i'm with you um and so yeah those are those are our thoughts on the trailers uh, unless Carmen, do you have any additional thoughts? Did we miss anything? Um, no, I don't think we missed anything. I mean, even though we got three different trailers, it still was pretty much promoted the same thing. So, no, right. I don't, I don't think we missed anything. I do look forward to watching it. I'm same. hoping it's just as great as All American. Um, yeah. Same here. Same here. And I want it to be, and it does look like it's going to be different from All American, which is good too. Yes. Yeah. So I'm hype. Be you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess it's officially her new tagline. So, um, homecoming. <laughs> it is this. It literally go to their Twitter. They keep saying "Be you, man." <laughs> be you. That's what it's, I mean, it's in that. I'm. I'm sure it's in that cadence as well. <laughs> This is why we're going to end the show. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay. Be you. Is that it? Be you. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to go watch it. <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Good day. Thanks for listening to Film Study and All-American Podcast. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>